the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you to Reverend Wendy. Today, our Lord Jesus Christ continues telling us, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me, in you, when you will produce my fruit, without me, you cannot do anything. Everyone wants to live a life full of joy and happiness. No one wakes up in the morning helping, hoping that they will be filled with discouragement and depression. No one wakes up intending to be grumpy. So the most of the time we are looking in the wrong place for the joy. Jesus tell us in this passage about the first ingredient according to Jesus in verse 9 to 11. I'm trying to do like a recipe this morning. As a father loved me, I too have love you. I to have love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Yes, as I kept my father's commandment and remain in his love. The first ingredient for the for to have a whole uh, happiness with uh, a lot of joy in our life is remind or abide in Jesus. The word remind is used three times in these verses. Let's start defining the word remind. Reminding Christ means to keep up a habit to constant close communion commun with him, with Jesus. To be always leaning on him, resting on him, pouring our heart to him, and using as our chief companion and a best friend. The first thing, joy is tied to our relationship of love to Christ, not to our circumstances. Biblical joy is something deeper. It's this relationship of love that allows to rejoice in every situation, even in the tough times. It is sadly possible that you have never truly love for anyone. You may be one who feels you were never living love for your parents. This is in my heart because I didn't feel the love of my fathers, especially. You have spent your life longing to be loved. If this is the case, I have a good news for you. God loves you. More than anyone, God loves you. He likes you. He sees potential in you. Just to say, one of the ways to remain in his love is to keep his commandments. Our task is to obey his commandment is found in his word. That means you and I, 
need to read the Bible in daily basis. Pray all the time. Try to go to church too, frequently. More of that, practice what we read, what we hear, what we believe. John in his uh, epistle says, let's not love with words or a speech, but with action and truth. The second ingredient is produce fruit. Let's jump to verse 16. You didn't choose, choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you could go and produce fruit and so that your fruit could last. As a result, wherever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. He wants them to know that he picked each one of them. Not because they were very important in the community where they live. in the eyes of the people. Jesus chose them because of what he knew he, can, he could make of them and what he could do through them. I want to repeat them. He, cho he chose them because of what he knew he could make of them and what he could do through them. We do not belong to him because we are smarter, better, or more talented than others. We are his, we are disciples of Jesus. For some unknown reason, he chose us. I was, in different times, eager to be choose for a uh, football team. I gave my name to be the standing committee. I gave my name when they asked me to be part of the commission and ministry. I want to be part of the diocese. The big guys. But they said to me, we didn't choose you because you are not bilingual. It's okay. Jesus said he chose us to produce fruit. We are to reflect Christ in the world. Word serve, serve as a, his ambassador, showing Christ like character in all we do. This fruit is not something we can produce in ourselves, it is something the Holy Spirit produced. Paul says the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. Patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The people in the street, in your neighbor, is waiting that you and me can show all these fruits of the Spirit. The third ingredient is love one another. This is my command, that you love one another as I love you. Greater love has no one that this, that someone lies, lay down his life for his friends. I have celebrated a lot of weddings. When I, 
I tried to say to them, I, I saw the, the bride, I saw the groom, I said, are you ready to give your life for your bride? You were able to give your life for your groom? They said to me, I don't know. I don't know. The Jesus ask, is asking us, we are to love one another in the, one, in the way he has loved us. His love was sacrificial. It was shown by the way he gave his life for us. Love has not, love has a cost. It's about giving, not receiving. His love was a decision made in the council of heaven. As I said, biblical love is not about feelings as much as uh, about choices. The Son of God chose to set aside his divine attributes and become a humble baby for the express purpose of making a way for you and me to be made right with God. This is the kind of love he wants us to show to each other. We have to believe that best about each other, to cheer for, to, to cheer for each other, to invest in our, ourselves in each other. We are to support each other in both the highs and the lows. We must be willing to give our lives in favor of another. Paul right. love is patient, love is kind. Love, it does not rejoice about in injustice, but rejoice whenever the truth wins out. Love never give up, never loses faith. It's always hopeful, endures through every circumstances. I have no doubt the great love of God has for my family and me. He showed me, he showed my family his kindness. When the doctor says, Sandrita would, would not live. Now he's in, she's in New York, alive. She's teaching in the seminary. When Alex went to the Persian Gulf War to the desertum, Everybody says to us, he will not return. Alex came back, sano y salvo. After a stroke, I am, I have, I am still walking. I am still, as you know, attacking. God has shown his love, his goodness, his grace, and me ha dado su perdón. That's the reason I need to do, do something, try to love in the streets, in the marketplace, in the jail, the detention center, I need to go there, this, that, that place, and said, God loves you, because 
he loved me. He showed me every day his grace, his mercy. Thank you, Grace, to show me your love. Thank you for having patience with me. I have a little part of song. I want to ask her to my lady to play a little bit. My lady, I I didn't choose my lady to be my granddaughter. She chose me. I can I can be his abuelito. There's a lot of people in the street waiting for the love of God. You and me, we can show them God loves them. Amen.